Hi everyone, my name is Danny Vol from the Swinburne branch of ADAX, the Astronomy Data and Computing Services. This is a short introduction to SLURM, a system for cluster management and job scheduling on computing clusters. Throughout this course, we will cover the following. First, we will look at an overview of what SLURM is and what it can be used for. Then, we will introduce the different user commands. With these in mind, we will then see how to gather information about the compute cluster and how to create jobs. And finally, we will look at a number of practical examples on how to create parallel jobs. If you are new to using a terminal, to using a supercomputer, or do not know about queuing management systems, make sure you have a look at the introduction webinar on computing clusters available on the ADAX LMS. There, you will learn about shell scripts along with the backbone of parallel computing. In general, the preferred way to use a supercomputer is through submitting batch jobs to a scheduler system, which governs access to compute nodes. The basic goal of a queue system is to maximize utilization of the supercomputer and to do this in a way that is fair to all users. It should also ease the workload for users who do a lot of computation. So with this in mind, we can now introduce Slurm. Slurm is an open source, fault tolerant and highly scalable cluster management and job scheduling system for large and small Linux clusters. Slurm was first developed at the Livermore Computing Center and has grown into a complete open source software backed by a large community, commercially supported by the original developers, and used by many of the top 500 supercomputers. It is therefore worth learning its mechanisms. As a cluster workload manager, Slurm has three key functions. First, to give users access to resources for a specified period of time, to provide a framework for starting, executing, and monitoring work on the compute nodes, and finally, to arbitrate contention for resources by managing a queue of pending work. Slurm consists of a daemon, called slurmd, running on each compute node, and a central daemon, called slurmctld, running on a management node. The slurm daemons provide fault-tolerant hierarchical communications. Information can be queried using several user commands, and all user commands can be run anywhere in the cluster. Here you can see a topology of the system, where you can see user commands and how they are linked to controller daemons and the compute node daemons. The entities managed by these Slurm daemons include nodes, the compute resource in Slurm, partitions, which group nodes into logical, possibly overlapping sets, jobs or allocations of resources assigned to a user for a specific amount of time, and job steps, a set of possibly parallel tasks within a job. Partitions can be considered job queues, each of which has an assortment of constraints such as job size limit, job time limit, users permitted to use it, and so on. Priority ordered jobs are allocated nodes within a partition until the resources, such as the node, the processors, or memory, within that partition are exhausted. Once a job is assigned a set of nodes, the user is able to initiate parallel work in the form of job steps in any configuration within that allocation. For example, a simple job step may utilize all the nodes allocated to the job, or several job steps may independently use a portion of the allocation. 